What's up everyone and welcome to some My Hero Academia Smash Tap or Boku no Hero Academia or whatever you choose to call it. I'm gonna call it My Hero Academia and yeah. So we're here in this game because I actually have wanted to do content for this game for quite a while. I was gonna wait for an English release but that hasn't happened yet and I've actually been like saving up some stuff. I, I started a new account on my tablet instead of my phone just to see kind of what my luck would be and then I actually decided I'm gonna keep this account and do use this for videos because this this game kills my phone so bad it, it I can I can't play it for more than like 20 minutes and it can, if I play it for 20 minutes it kills like 10% of my battery which I mean it doesn't sound like a lot but it definitely is for me so a couple of things uh, if you guys can help me out every time I try to actually go buy the currency in this game it always gives me this message which roughly translated I'm not an amazing Japanese speaker I, I know some stuff just from reading Japanese it's that's not like a language that I really speak though but this basically says that there are no items available don't know why that's the case but if anybody can help me out with that then definitely let me know kind of troubleshooting because I haven't been able to figure out a solution so Gus we got about 93 gems they're not called gems what are they called hero something they're called hero something that that's really informative but we're going to be jumping in, not on this All Might banner, so if you click this button right here, if you play this game, click this button right here to tell you the rates. And so this is an increased rate banner, but as you can see, it's only 1.5% for All Might. That's what that says, is Arumaito. And number one, as it matches the name of the card right here, see? So you can see the rates. It's 0.5% for all other... All other... Five star cards. I, I don't know why I blanked out on that, and I don't know a lot of these characters' names in Japanese. I, I, I'm not. I, I wouldn't say I'm like a mega fan of of the show. I, I like. I, well, I haven't really actually watched the show very much, but of the series, I know I have a general familiarity with the characters. I've read through the series once, pretty much up to date, other than the most recent arc, because I wait till arcs end to read them for the most part. So, this video was originally actually going to be this. This banner right here, you get a guaranteed five-star card, but you have to pay for the hero stones, whatever they're called. I think they actually might be, they're not hero spirits. I don't actually know what they, I don't remember what they are called, but there's hero something with an S. And you have to pay for this though. You have to use paid, paid currency to do this banner. So that's why I was, or this gotcha. So that's why I, I haven't been able to do it yet. Hopefully I can figure out a solution to that, but it does that on my phone too. It says that it's not available is you put your birth date in and then you click a button and then like after that you're supposed to be able to buy stuff so anyway let's jump in on this banner this banner has pretty okay rates not fantastic it's a two percent pull rate for five star cards i believe that's actually izuku because that little bit of kanji at the beginning of this top one says hero and then number one hero down here, this this All Might that was on the other banner is a 2% pull rate. Which is actually funny because his pull rate is higher on this banner than it is on the banner with his increased pull rate. So that's actually kind of funny. 2% 2 rate, that's kind of garbage, but it's not really the biggest deal, honestly. Because 4 star cards have a 38% pull rate. And right now, I on this account, I'm not really, I'm not really stocked up. I have this starter Zuku I'm still using, and then this card is actually pretty solid if they can pull it up right here. No, I, I'm i still kind of getting used to this game, so bear with me for a second. And there, there we go. So, um, oh, there we go. Oh, and I got this guy from the event, too. So, actually, I could probably swap him out for the, the Zuku that I've been running, but... Shota is my best card, and I'm actually wanting to train him up, but I need some more coins, so I actually got to go farm some more missions. I have 44k right now, but I want to give him another one of the top gummies that you can train with. So, Because you train with the gummies in this game, and I gave him one, and that was all the coins that I had, and it leveled him up 33 levels, but the next one is only like 10, and that is like a lot of coins. I actually might have enough now, but that's what I was waiting for before. Anyway, let's get into these summons. I was trying to give to 100, but I started failing a mission so i was like i just need to do some summons to get some cards so that's what we're going to be doing today obviously i've spent five minutes explaining what I, what the objective is instead of just jumping in so i don't know the animations in this game very well so we're gonna be seeing we're gonna be seeing a lot of new things i know the all might animation is a guaranteed 
five star card because I did the guaranteed five star. And we're gonna start off with a four star card, so we get a Rikido Sato. I don't know if this card. I don't know if these cards really are any good. So we're gonna keep. We're we're just gonna keep going at it, though, and we'll we'll figure out what kind of the best stuff is at the end. And this is just gonna be. I know this is just gonna be a normal animation. Though. Oh, we get a four star card out of that too, though. We get a Mina Ashido out of that. And the reason I'm reading both names is because like I know a lot of people will be more familiar with the anime than the manga, and I don't know. I don't know what name you would actually be more familiar with. So, all right, we're going to get another four-star card, it looks like, right here. So this is actually kind of fire so far. And I, I've actually seen this card and in the in the menu, and I, it's actually a pretty solid four-star card, so I'll definitely take that. And you only need two cards for this for your team anyway, so it's whatever, but I, like, I'll, I'll screw around and just use some of these cards anyway. So this is going to be the end of the four-star run. Yes, it is. It is an All Might, but it's not the one that we wanted. It's just a three-star All Might. All right. So I actually don't think I said how many summons or how many like things we'd be able to do. Oh, ooh, is this gonna be a five-star card? Plus Ultra. And oh, I skipped over what that was, but I actually might have had that card on my my other account that I had started. Let's go back over to here and let's see this. Uh, we'll just make a new team really quickly. And is this the one? Yeah, the Katsuki. This card actually might be pretty fire, honestly. I don't know. I think I had him on my other account when he was really good. The little bit that I played on that account. Alright. Well, I wouldn't say the little bit that I played. I actually played for quite a bit. Is this still? Yeah, okay. So it's not, a, it's not, it's not an issue that really fixed itself. So I don't know what the deal with that is. Also, let me know. Are these accessory... Are these accessory summons worth it? They don't seem like they are, but I feel have a feeling that they randomly just might be worth doing for no reason. Anyway, we'll jump back in here. And, ooh, and we're going to get another 5-star card, it looks like, right here. This animation is actually really good. It's, like, actually really good. And, alright, we're going to get a Momo. Alright, I'll have to look at actually, actually look at some of these cards. We've been getting some fire so far in these summons. We've only gotten one three-star card, and we're gonna get some uh, some mission accomplished for that. And it looks like the the luck is gonna be taking a little bit of a break right here. Just a three-star card right here. All right, we'll move on. And I was thinking about doing. I was thinking maybe we'll end this with a multi, but I think we'll just keep doing the singles. All right, so we're gonna get a four-star card. It looks like I think this is the four-star guaranteed animation. Oh no, it's not. It's just a three. All right. So I'll keep that in mind going forward that that might not be the most reliable animation. It's probably like a rainbow, the equivalent of a rainbow release where like it means something, but it doesn't mean a whole lot. The All Might, though, every time has been a guaranteed five-star card for me. And this is going to be a Kyoka. All right. Let's keep going. Yeah, well, our luck is fading a little bit here. We just got three R's in a row. So that's definitely not the most most fantastic thing in the world we could ask for. But we started out pretty solid, so I don't know if I can really complain about it at the same time. And we are going to get another Asui card. Alright, so that, that animation really doesn't mean a whole lot. It's just at least a 3-star card, but like all of these are 3-star cards. Oh, we're going to get a 4-star right here. We're going to get another Rikido card. I that, we already actually have that card, so I actually don't want that because dupes in this game are completely pointless and provide absolutely nothing. So, because like super attack level, oh, we're gonna get a five star card. What's it gonna be? And ooh, this has sick art actually. Oh, this is like the amazing card out of this, isn't it? I think maybe not. It might not be the amazing card out of this, but I know this card's new because I looked up the the thing on the reddit and it said that this card was like there was like a repeat or something it, it was like something special that was going on I, I don't remember don't remember what it exactly was but it, it i've seen it like being talked about as a good card in the past so that's actually pretty uh, pretty good right there another five star so we got what four or five star cards so far Ooh, you're gonna get an ochako too i actually wanted this card on my other account just for the art itself because i actually really like the card art but I'll definitely take it. It's not the it's not the not the five star card, but the four star cards are d definitely still somewhat useful, at least to say. So we got four more, including this one to go, and we're gonna be kicking things off. 
with a R card, and that's uh, you know not ideal, but I mean we've had pretty good luck in this video. Honestly, it's been pretty solid, and we're gonna get another another Ochako card. All right, last two summons we got right here. Let's get into this. And it doesn't look like we are going to be finishing off the strongest. Oh, no, we get a four-star card. It is going to be a Toru. All right. I will definitely take that. Four-star cards are better than three-star cards to pull. And we will not be ending this on a five-star pull. We are, just going, to, we are going to get a four-star card, though. It is going to be a Barra card. All right, so that was a pretty solid set of summons, whatever they're actually called in this game. Where is the... There's a way to just look at all the characters. Yeah, all right, right here. So, I mean, we, we had pretty good luck, I would say. We pulled, what, one, two... Pull one, two, three... Three five-star cards? Three five-star cards. We pulled a bunch of fours and three or four threes but for the most part i would say that we had a lot of success on that banner especially considering that it is just a three percent pull rate for the five star cards so i'll definitely take it all right thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and let me know if you want to see some more smash tap in the future whether you're new or returning from by dokkan battle content this is a game that i play a fair bit i'd say like i go hard at it like a couple times a week i don't i don't really play like every day but I definitely try to put a little bit of time in every now and again. So let me know if you would like more of this content going forward. I don't really actually know what to make content on in this game itself because it's all in Japanese. So and like the event, the events of like actually are returning. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, potentially more, My Hero Academia Smash Dab.